Did everyone enjoy watching the first few weekends of March Madness? Well, you know, I sure did. Last year, there were four blue bloods, like the bluest of all blue bloods in college basketball, in the Final Four with Duke, Kansas, Kentucky, and Villanova. This year, there are no blue bloods, no high school five-star recruits, It's but it's still college basketball. Because it's great. It's March Madness. We got this year we got FAU, Florida Atlantic, San Diego State University, UConn, and Miami. Four teams that weren't ranked in the preseason besides UConn and San Diego State. And now they're in the Final Four, living it up in Houston. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Dive into this weekend's Final Four action. And you know what to do. Listen tight. FAU and San Diego State are first in the Final Four in in their whole entire um, basketball career. Like, San Diego State has never been there. FAU has never been there. It's year first, so, you know, we'll see what happens, who wins, who comes out on top as they play each other on Friday. No, Saturday. I'm sorry. Saturday and Monday are the games. So Saturday are the the... Final four games, and Monday's the national championship. By the way, this year the national championship is at 9 o'clock. So if it's a school night, you might not want to stay up for it. I don't know. depends on the teams and the blowouts or not. But I will probably still stay up for it. As I think San Diego State will, or I think they're projected. They're, they are projected, as I should say, to beat FAU. But I think FAU will beat San Diego State. San Diego State is a tough team, so is FAU. They're both led by great guards, Matt Bradley on the um, Aztecs and uh, Jonel Davis for the Owls. So both led by great guards, a lot of week for practice, huge week of preparation, and now they're ready to get to it. The nervous jitters are over. We'll see them on Saturday. I think FAU will win it because of their X Factor, the center. They have a huge dominant center that dominated in the whole March Madness bracket. And they play great defense. So I think FAU gets it done, slowing down San Diego State's attack, offensive attack. And San Diego State doesn't have the defense to stop uh, Davis and their center. So I think FAU gets it done, moves on to the national championship game on Monday. But a fun fact is there, FAU's stadium has a maximum capacity of 2,500 uh, fans. And NRG Stadium, the stadium where March Madness and Final Four is being played in Houston this year, has a maximum of 71,000 fans. So it's going to be... Uh, a uh, pretty good environment there if the fans travel. And I, I believe they will. Florida's pretty close to Texas. So we'll see what happens there if they get nervous with all the plus plethora of fans. And, yeah. I think the final score will be FAU 65, San Diego State 60. And finally, in the nightcap, Miami will play UConn. That would be a great matchup. Uh, UConn, I think, will definitely win. They've been the most dominant team in the tournament. I'm not saying they'll slip up, but they've been the most dominant team. Uh, Sonogo, the big man's been good. Um, Caravan, the electric three-point shooter. And then you got um, Hawkins running the uh, running the point, who can also shoot, pass. And then you got a, 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 a 3-and-D guy in Andre Jackson. So they got everybody, and they got a Donovan, Donovan Klingon, a freshman, my age. He's about 7'2", 7'1", 6'10", maybe, something like that, that comes off the bench and just dominates because the bench doesn't have another dominant big man for another team. So it's just a compelling story there, and I think UConn gets it done against Miami. They have depth. They have X-Factors, and I think the X-Factor will be Andre ja- Jackson with um, – Adama Sanogo and Jordan Hawkins having a great game. I know they already will have a great game, but uh, Jackson has to step up. And he will. I believe he will. That'll be the X factor. So final score, UConn 85, Miami 75. 
So in the championship, obviously, that makes FAU and UConn in the late night matchup on Monday night. Uh, so don't go to bed before the championship, 920. I think UConn will run all over FAU, and it won't even be close. So maybe you do want to go to bed, but, you know, it'd still be fun to watch. Uh, last game of college basketball, um, and UConn will dominate and win that game with Sonogo's big man presence. And like I said earlier in the Final Four, Hawkins running the point, looking like Marquise Noel out there, um, Muggsy Bogues, all those guys. So keep it up, UConn. They'll win the championship. They haven't won it. No, by the way, none of these four teams have won it in the past, like, 12 years, so I'm just going to throw that random number out there, but it's been a while, and it's due. They're due. They're all due, and I think UConn will win it this year. Um, as I said, the FAU big man will not be able to stop Sonogo with the final score. UConn 86, FAU 56, so a plus 30 margin there. UConn gets it done, has a championship trophy to add to their campus, and way to go, UConn. So, by the way, I just had an article posted in the Delta Collegiate for my school, and I feel very accomplished about that. So it's been, it was just posted last Saturday, and it's already close to 100 views, maybe already at 100 views. Uh, keep climbing. And it's been the most read article for the Delta Collegiate out of all the articles that they post. And it was about March Madness, of course, which is what I'm talking about right now. So if you like listening to my podcast, go give my article a read. And as for that, we'll see you later. Awesome. Signing off.